Hey kids, welcome back. It's Sunshine. Today I have purchased another Thread Up Men's Rescue Box. It's 90 pounds of hopefully good items, but I don't know because I've just, oh, I can't even lift it. So I'm assuming it's 40 pounds and I'll count the pieces at the end so we can see my cost of goods for each item. So I'm just going to dig right into it and see what we've got. Do I see ties? Ugh. But I see some new stuff as well. So let's just jump right in. Let's start off with the socks. <laughs> so these are Crane Two Men's Thermal Socks, Outdoor Socks. Oh, that's good. Those might be worth some money. And they're just gray... Oh, quarter socks, quarter zip, or quarter zip. Yeah, so I don't know. I'll have to see. I have so these listed. that's an accessory. I'm going to put that in the accessory pile. And the next item we have is a pair of shorts. Slim Chinos by Blue Crown. Never heard of it. But we are going into short season. In a size 29 is a really small size so they're gray got some side pockets got some thread um i don't know i wonder if those are golf shorts i have no clue let me look at the tag he's had multiple stains so There's donated no there either okay so i don't know maybe ten dollars so we'll put these in the shorts pile because I got some more shorts. I'm glad I op I'm opening this now before summer. So these are Roundtree and York Casuals, relaxed fit, size 30. And they are green. Now they would have been good for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, is that a button missing? No, nope, button's there. So yeah. Those are some green shorts. Maybe $10 for those. Are these? What are? Oh, okay. Now we have men's dress pants. So these are. My husband said these look like grandpa pants. So uh, donated. And, yeah. Oh, these are 40 by 30. I don't see a brand. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. So they're Covington. And they are like brown houndstooth. Dress or casual pants. I don't know. I have to look them up. I don't even know. If, yeah, you can see the houndstooth a little bit. They have both their back button pockets. Yep. Okay, so we have a pair of pants that are probably only worth $10. We're doing the $10 box. Okay, so these are a pair of pants. Put those in the pants pile. Might as well pull out these ties. I'm probably going to lot all these together and send them out to auction on eBay. So, let's see. First tie is Bullocks. <laughs> okay, Bullocks. Yeah, I wonder if it's... It doesn't feel like so, but it might be. Allen... Lolly? What the heck kind of name is that? England. Hmm. Doesn't say, oh, here we go. Oh, it is silk. Woman in England. I'm going to sneeze. Achoo! Sorry. Whew. Allergy season. Okay, so we have a tie. Looks like we have a total of three. And this next one is a skinny tie, sort of. By Boss, made in Italy. Ooh. Hmm. So there's what that looks like. I'm trying to see what it's made out of, but I don't see. Oh, here we go. Um... 
Yep, this one's silk too. Okay, so we have another silk tie made in Italy. At least they're silk. But I have no luck selling ties. Do you guys have any luck selling ties? Oh my gosh, this is a bow tie. How, cu how cute is that? So we have a paisley bow tie that's adjustable. And nothing else on it. Oh, here we go. Nope, just says adjustable. Well, that doesn't help me. Has no brand name, and it's new because it still has the tag thing on it. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I have no clue. I don't even know if I can sell that without a name on it. Oh, now we're gonna get, move into shirts, more button downs, you know I hate button downs. This one's new, this is Stafford Easy Care Broadcloth. Alrighty, and it's fitted size 15. And it looks like a, I'm not gonna take it apart, but it feels like it's short sleeve. And it looks like it's either black or navy. So I don't know, maybe $10 for that. This is a JCPenney brand, and I have it listed. Okay, more shorts. These are Volcom. Alrighty, never heard of that either. Size 30. Hmm. I've never heard of this. And there are a pair of casual shorts, two button back pockets. Oh, cargo. So we have the cargo pocket. And they appear to be in good condition. So maybe $10 for those. Okay, I have no clue. This is a polo, it looks like. By Kirkland Signature in a size large. I see a lot of auctions in my future. And it is a green knit shirt. Nothing spectacular here. So yeah, maybe $10 for that. Pumps weren't good, so donated. Okay. I'm smelling laundry detergent, so my nose is starting to run. Okay, this is some kind of active shirt. It's Adidas. And I have no idea what size because it's so faded. But it's Climalite. So it's some kind of active top. I think it's a size large. I can't really see it. So it's just a gray active top. It smells heavily of somebody's laundry detergent. It's had multiple flaws. So, so yeah, I don't know. $10 for that. Oh, we have another new shirt. Hopefully, they're the same size. I'll lot these puppies together. They're not. Of course not. Okay, so this is Slim Fit J Fur Fur. -er. Size small. Has a tag uh, from JCPenney. Here we go. With a $35 tag. Here's what that looks like. And it's probably short sleeves as well. So I have this listed where it will probably be sitting the same time some next cookies. year. Alrighty. These are Old Navy 3434 khakis. And they look to be in not worn condition. Hmm. Or barely worn. Uh, oh, do I see some stains? Or is that fuzz? It's fuzz. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe $20 for those. These had multiple stains, so donated. Okay, more pants. More shorts. Ooh, Beverly Hills Polo Club. These are no brands either. And a pair of cargo shorts. It's too bad some of these aren't my husband's size. So we have Beverly Hills Polo Club in a size 30. And they are some khaki cargo shorts. So probably $10 for those. 
I lotted these up with the other two size 30s and We're sent them out to pants. auction. I'm seeing a color theme here. So these are Under Armour. No, those were, I'm trying to think. I just had so much trouble trying to move a pair, but, but those were Adidas. Okay, so these are Under Armour 3634. So these are khaki workout pants or something. I don't know. We'll look them up. Does it tell me anything on the tag? Probably not. So I don't know, maybe 20 for these. They're kind of lightweight, so I'm not sure. And they have some slits at the hem. Maybe they're hiking pants. I don't know, I'll have to look them up. Okay, more khaki something, more khaki pants. These are, I can't read the tag, J brand. In a size 32. So you're probably not gonna be able to see this, it's on a black tag, but they're J brand. Really small. What size did I say those were? 32. These feel really good. Hmm. They may never have been worn either. Oh yeah, they were worn and had multiple stains. Yeah, I mean, so they donated. Feel really good. I wonder what these are made out of. That's weird. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, maybe 20, 25 for those. I'm looking at them wondering if they're women's maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's see. More shorts. No, more pants. New with tag, Old Navy. Marked at $26.99. Okay, these are Slim 29.30. They look like they're slate blue or green. I can't really tell. Let's put them up. So, yeah. I don't know, but they're new with tags, which can't be that bad, right? Hopefully. Oh yeah, so, comps were bad, so donated. Okay. I have no clue what this is. Some kind of button-down shirt by Banana Republic in a size medium. And it's a stripe. I thought it was a pajama shirt. Because <laughs> it's striped. It looks like something my grandpa used to wear for pajamas. Yep, this good old so, yeah, grandpa all pajama shirt got donated. So far. This one actually has a dry cleaning tag on it. So I don't know. Maybe $10 for it. Does it have both sleeves? I can't buy the other sleeve. <laughs> Why do I keep getting these? I hate button downs. Oh my lord. And I see more khakis in it. And the oh jeez. I need another pair of those shoes like I got in the last one to pay for the whole box. Okay, this one isn't too bad. It's all fawny, slim fit. And a size small. Well that kills it. And it is a plaid long sleeve button front shirt. Oh no, I'm done dealing with the button down shirts. $10. Donated. I This time I'm going to look up comps on these before I steam them and photograph them because some of them may not even be worth it. So I think I'm going to put those in a different pile. Looks like jeans. Ooh, new with tags. With a Ross tag of. God, these smell like detergent. Whew. With a Ross tag of $16. Okay, I've never heard of these, but they are a 3030 Road. Alrighty. You guys ever heard of that brand? Road. So they're your denim jeans. New with tags. Have no clue. Maybe Comps were awful. Donated. New with tags. 
but I have never heard of that brand. More houndstooth stuff. Lord have mercy, these look like something my grandpa wore too. This is the grandpa box. You guys know I'm old, so you can imagine. Okay, this has a weird, weird tag. I have no clue how to read that. Dry clean only. I can't even tell what it's made out of. I don't even see a brand name. But these, oh lord, these got to be vintage. They have to be. But they're houndstooth pants. If I can get them together. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and they're cuffed at the bottom. <laughs> oh, lordy. Maybe the 80s? I don't know. When were cuffed pants in? Yeah, I probably won't be listing those, but I will look them up. These went straight into the okay. donation so bag. Smells new with tags, some kind of jeans. Thank God. Signature Levi's in a size 3029 that are new with tags. Hallelujah. Yeah. Like their straight leg. Hmm. Maybe twenty-five thirty for those. Yay! I actually had something to list out of this I'm box. Running into the box here. I should have opened this up before I even started filming, but we're just gonna make it work, as Tim Gunn says. Looks like a bunch of pajamas in here. <laughs> okay. This is Kenneth Cole reaction. In a size medium. Button down. Long sleeves. Shirt. And it has a dry cleaning tag as well. Whatever ones of these are the same size, I'm going to lot them up and send them out to auction. So, no more button downs. Right into the that. donation bag. 15, who knows? These look like pajamas. Look. Do those look like pajamas? And it's a shirt, button-down, classic fit. I do like the colors on it, though. Is that all I'm going to see? I'm not going to see a tag, obviously. Oh, wait, yeah, I am. <laughs> Why do they do this? Uh, don't they want you to know what it is? This actually looks like something, even though they look like pajamas. I can't see it well, but it looks like... It's Italian. Bucacci, maybe. So this might actually be something, even though it looks like pajamas. I have to look it up. So it's a button-down, long sleeve shirt. So, and this also has a dry cleaning tag. So these are, this may either be a mall brand that I just don't know about, you know, like sold at Walmart, or it may be something good. To the I'm left, to the left, see. right into the donation bag. Okay, a white shirt, a white button down shirt. Nice and crispy. Banana Republic size medium. Hope it's the same as the other one. We'll definitely be locking these puppies together. This is a dress shirt, big time. Hmm. Is that a, no, I don't know. So yeah, 10 or 15 for that. This had multiple stains, <coughs> didn't want to steam it. It's a button down, three strikes, you're out. Let's see some shoes. Ooh, let's save those for last. Hmm. White pants. Uniqlo jeans that somebody crossed out. In a oh, fit and slim. Size 30, low rise. This might be women's. I don't know. I cannot sell white jeans to save my life. Okay. Straight leg, might even be skinny fit. 
boy, they are long too. So, I don't know. I know Uniqlo is a no-name brand. Some of it sells for good money, although I don't know why. So far, this box is that, a bust. These anyway, were donated as well. Dollars, maybe. Let's see something else new with tags. It's a t-shirt by U.S. Polo Association, which I think is sold at Sears. So, it's a size extra large. And it's a long sleeve t-shirt, which I'd much rather get than button downs. Here's your little pony. So I don't know, maybe $10, $12 for that. I would have actually listed this, but somehow it got put in the donation bag. Let's see here. We have a blazer by Banana Republic in a size 38 short. Well, I'm assuming that's what the S means. And it has shoulder pads. <laughs> uh, might even be a women's, I don't know. Probably not. It's kind of cute. Though. This reminds that's me of something Pee Wee Herman wore. So, yes, so, definitely yeah, donated. So maybe 20 for that. Okay, let's see. Something black, button down, I'm sure. Van Heusen, no name brand, half sleeve, size 18. Might be a woman's. Nah, I think it's a men's. Black button up shirt, maybe 10 bucks. Oh no, I'm not wasting my time. Donated. Can't wait to get to the shoes. Hopefully, they're going to pay for the whole box. Because so far, I don't... Ooh. Hmm. I spoke too soon. New with tags. So, this is a Vans tank top. Size large. It's too bad it's not my husband's size. He loves Vans. So, it's a tank top. And... Um, they had it marked at 15. Originally, 20. So, yeah, that tells me how much I'm going to get. Maybe 12 <laughs> But, yeah, I this piece I like. And it's listed. Oh, Yay! It's strange, but I don't care. Okay, this is Brooks Brothers Clark. <clears throat> 3632. And there are some more khaki-colored pants. Geez, these are short. Did that say 32 inches? No. 36 by 32. These are not 32. Uh-uh. Let's see if they've been hemmed. These had multiple stains and flaws. Donated. 32 so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe $20 for that. I'm disappointed in this box. Ugh. I was getting some really good ones, and then they've gone downhill, it seems like. Okay. Looks like some more t-shirts. This one is... I have no clue. Simply. Size large. Alrighty. Never heard of that. Feels good, though. It's nice and soft. So it's a shirt sleeve t-shirt. Maybe $10 for that. It's not a stain. Had multiple I wish stains they donated. These boxes. They put them in a plastic bag to keep them away from the clothes. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe $10 for that. This looks like a hoodie. I don't. So we have a Nautica hoodie in a size large. Perfect for spring. Gray hoodie. With the little sailboat. In excellent condition. So, Yay, something else I have listed. It's the first hoodie I've got. Why is this laying over here? Oh, because it's a blazer thing. Oh, a 
nice pilly sweater. <laughs> and this is a nice pilly sweater. Made in Taiwan, so it's vintage. Supreme, size large, acrylic. Never heard of, oh, maybe the brand name's Supreme, you think? I don't know. But it is a long sleeve vintage sweater which I'll definitely be donating if it's not worth any money because I don't feel like sweater shaving it. But that's the only sweater we got in the box, which is a good thing. Tom's weren't good, <coughs> too no much filling. Donated. Okay, this is new with tags. Ooh, another Vans piece. Extra large, extra large, ex or XX large. Husband wears an XXL. Darn. This is another size large. I may lot these up together. Now they're new with tags, tank top. How much was this one going for? Yeah, this is going for the same price the other one. So I may just lot these together and they may sell better, hopefully. I have this one listed okay, as well. Okay, last item, the pair of shoes. Uh, I don't know. Okay, bunch of drawings. This inside. is actually I a high-end no brand. What I liked was their line in fur, but it's got a bunch of writing on it. Maybe they are soft and cozy. Maybe that's the name brand. But look at this. The brand is Julian David, new, Tokyo. Hopefully there were some money. I don't know. There weren't any comps, so I listed mine high. It doesn't smell like leather, but it could be. So they have the... Word-looking souls. <laughs> Do you think these are, what did I say? Made in Japan. No, it says made in Japan. Who the heck, what? I can't wait to look these up. I cannot wait to look these up. They spelled Japan, J-A-P-O-N. No clue. There's some creasing on the top, but other than that, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, count them up, let you know how many items I got. Okay, I got 34 pieces, and the box was $90, so it averages out to be like $2.64 each. I did take the three ties and count them only as one, so. And this box came from Phoenix, which is why I got it so fast, because that's only like an hour and a half away. So, I am hoping that... The shoes pay for the box, but like I said, I'll keep you guys posted and be sure to subscribe so you can see what's selling in my profit picks video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.